I'm not sure what number of consecutive days of silence today represents. I've been getting a lot of questions in the past few weeks about the silence that I've added to my daily routine. My name is Vicki Maris. I appreciate you being here. I wanted to record this video for you to give you an update about this practice of silence and what it has meant to me to add it to my routine. Some days I practice 30 minutes of silence. Other days I follow a guided meditation. Today I was out here on our farm and it's actually starting to rain a little bit. So hopefully I don't get too wet here out in the field with the llamas. That's Lily right behind me. If you scroll back in the playlist of reflection videos that I recorded for you after my 100 consecutive days of adding silence to the routine, you will see the llamas in a few of the videos. I often participate in silence out in nature and we're blessed that we have this beautiful farm and get to be its caretakers and get to be the caretakers of these beautiful creatures. And it's fun to spend time with them. And they seem to be drawn to the silence or to me when I'm practicing silence. One of the things I have learned is how the increase in self-awareness as you add silence to your day seems to connect you more with your loved ones, with your animals, in my case also uh, with my spouse, with my friends that I play music with, and connect us not just when we're together in person but energetically. I continue to experience these synchronistic moments that are coming right and left unlike ever before in my life where somebody's name you know comes across my heart and I will be sometimes I'll just say you know hello like not that I'm physically in front of that person but when their name comes across my heart I greet them sometimes I pray for them if I feel like there's some sort of need in their life and I may not have any idea what it is but I'll just speak some prayer over them and send good thoughts their way. And then that synchronistic moment sometimes comes into being where I'll get a text from them. That just happened yesterday. I was actually uh, working on some song lyrics and one of my friend's names came through my mind. And wasn't maybe less than an hour later he texted and my husband had a similar type of synchronistic event yesterday and these these were all intertwined within like 90 minutes of each other so we're both noticing things like that happening more frequently and the only thing I can attribute it to is this practice of daily silence and it is a practice so if you're just now kind of stumbling across one of my videos I have a few of these in public status on this Vicki J Maris YouTube channel and I encourage you to look in the upper corner I always have to think do I do I point up that direction or that direction <laughs> it's backwards I think it I think it would be up there I'll put the playlist, the link to the playlist. I do have the playlist in unlisted status, but I, if you're interested in this and would like to follow along, I've got all of those little reflection videos that I created after each period of silence. There was a few instances or a few days where I would do the silence for maybe two or three days in a row and then create one video so there's not a hundred videos there's 70 some but I'm here today recording this video for you because I had gotten so many recent questions about are you still doing the silence or did you stop after the days? last night I was in the recording studio uh, finishing the keeper what's called the keeper vocals on four of my new songs and 
I was asked that question because I've been songwriting. I've been on this roll. Songs are just pouring out of me. And I've, I have gone back and watched some of these reflection videos in this series and noted some places where I, even when I'm speaking with you, I go, oh, well, that's, that could be a song hook. <laughs> but the increased self-awareness is causing me to notice those song lines or song line possibilities that come through my mind. And I'm writing them down. I'm putting them in the notes app on my phone. I've also used the voice memo app quite a bit. So lately, in the past couple months, not only am I writing a song lyric, but if I hear a melody idea, I'm going to the voice memo app and recording just a few moments of a melody idea. A few weeks ago, I was on a week-long vacation in Florida at a beautiful resort. I felt so grateful for the time to, to be there and just relax. And I was working. I was working in my consulting business while I was there. But to be away from the regular distractions, my hubby gave me the gift of caring for the animals for that week while I was gone. And another song came pouring out of me <laughs> that day. So last night at the recording studio, I recorded the what we call the scratch vocals. So that is when you capture your vocals to a click track. So if you're not familiar with recording of a song, you record to a click track, which sounds just consider a drum beat. And a drum beat actually can be a click track. So that later when the rest of the instruments are being layered in uh, one track at a time, all of those other instruments can be played to that click track. And that helps the recording engineer make sure that everything is lined up. And you can also record live, you know, where you, let's say you were with a band and all the instruments were playing a song at the same time and maybe multiple vocals that works too and that's really cool as well but often when songwriters are recording their music they'll do it this way where you you first like I was playing my guitar and singing the vocals to a click track and then uh, Michael who's who is uh, serving as the sound engineer, recording engineer, and he's also doing the instrumentation. So he'll strip out my guitar, which is a good thing. <laughs> my guitar is, um, it works for, you know, what I need to do, but to have all of his uh, amazing guitar work on the project and other instruments, he plays the other instruments too, it's really pretty cool. Um, my hubby does that as well. He sometimes will use my vocals, but uh, my hubby's guitar work is he too is, a, is an amazing guitar player. So that's, that's how all of that works. And it was exciting that this song that I had written just a couple weeks ago in Florida started coming to life last night in the recording studio. And, you know, here in a, I don't know when, probably sometime in the next week or two, we'll get to listen to all of the instrumentation that has been layered in. It's exciting. And then the last thing you do is come back and add what we call the keeper vocals. So for four of my songs I was adding the keeper vocals in the studio yesterday. So those are near completion, those songs. So I'll let you know when we have those released. Probably be releasing them as singles, a song at a time, rather than a whole album or an EP. I'm not really sure about that yet. But the, the music, the songwriting, it's a result of the silence. And this morning, I just had gone back and looked at a video. It's labeled as number 39 in the playlist. And the title of the video, it says Days 41 and 42. And it's where I was, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little teary again. <laughs> I was talking about an epiphany that came to me when I was experiencing. 
I was talking about an epiphany that came to me as I was experiencing this practice of silence. And I encourage you to go back and watch the video. I'll, I won't repeat it all here, but basically I discovered something about my music and that I had always been keeping it off to the side, more in hobby status. And in the silence and through conversation that I had with my hubby, because of something that had come to me, a word that it came to me in the silence, I was realizing that it's okay for music to be something that I love and that I share on a regular basis and that it can be my profession or can be incorporated as part of my profession. I think I've always felt like I had to keep it off to the side. And that has opened up this freedom for me to songwrite and to dig in deeper on becoming a better guitar player and becoming a better accordion player and to work on my vocals. I don't want to make this video any longer, but I just wanted to be here today to let you know that yes, I am still practicing silence. Some days I do guided meditations but I'm keeping up with it. And I'm just noticing also that there's another low-flying plane, which if you watch one of my earlier videos in the series, my dad was a career pilot, and he's been gone since 2008. But he and I were really close. And whenever I have some sort of epiphany or some deliver some kind of emotional thoughts into a recording device, whether it be audio like this, or sometimes when I'm speaking to an audience uh, from a stage or recording a video, a low-flying plane comes along. Sometimes it's a jet. Um, that one was a smaller plane. He, he designed an aviation program for a university and, and put the money together to buy their first fleet of small aircraft that the students learn in. And he was also a military pilot for 23 years. So I always feel like that's a symbol of him going by. I don't know. I really do think he's up in heaven and not worrying about what I'm doing. So maybe it's God. Maybe it's the universe sending me the symbol that we hear you. So know that you're being heard too. In your tears, in your laughter, in your writing, your journaling, in your conversation with friends, you are heard and you are loved. And I love you. Thanks for being here. <laughs> and Lana loves you. That's Lana who just spoke. Take care, my friend.